Hey there and welcome to Pokemon Reborn. Uh, we're gonna take a little break from the storyline and it's time to do some little side excursions. Uh, today I'm gonna go through the north side of the Aventurine Forest and hopefully get ourselves a Joltek. So what, but first, but first I remember we were on the top floor of here, there was a gentleman who said, bring me a Dunsparce for a trade. So I've gone back to the, um, what do we call it now, the underground stairway, underneath the underground stairway, the grand stairway, caught one, and I've not just got him anyone, I've got this gentleman a shiny psychedelic one, which I have, there he is, let's have a look at this dude. Look at that, psychedelic shiny Dunsparce. So I'm expecting something absolutely awesome in return. Let's go and see what he gives us. I won't be using this in the playthrough, it's just for demonstration purposes. But let's have a little gander. Ah, hello again! Have you come to donate a Dunsparce to us? I sure have! Yay! Look at this baby I got for you, sir. I see! This will be a great boon! Thank you! What will we get? A Tyrogue! Oh, I was hoping for maybe something better. Never mind. I suppose a Hitmonlee is pretty good. Fine, fine, fine. We're an excellent addition to the population's re-establishment. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Okay. Now, before we carry on, I forgot to do one thing. We have to make sure the time is after 8 o'clock for this to work. So bear with me a second. I'm just going to set the time. Alrighty, we've changed the time now to 8 o'clock because this event, to get the Joltik, requires a nighttime visit. Uh, so without further ado, I will tell you now that we've prepped the area. I've, all the way along Route 1, this part here, the side part where there's no forest, you have to make sure you take out all the tourists all the way along, so all the buffalant, remove all the logs, north and south, all the way along, otherwise you'll be there for a lot longer. So that's the first thing you need to do. So let's first of all hop on a Taurus. So let's take out a Buffalo. Hopefully we can take these out in one hit, thank goodness. Okay, so now we can jump on a Taurus. And that allows us now to ride up the steps. So there we go. So what we're going to do is take the first available way up. I think I have to dismount immediately. It's just purely to get up the first step. Oh, I need repels on, don't I? Ah, my apologies. Ooh, look at that! Lenoon! Right, let's get a rappel on the go. Twenty-six might just be enough. Because <laughs> this is very time consuming. Okay, let's have a look up here. Now what I've done, I've, all, I've prepped some of the uh, trees with honey. Oh, that's great. Uh, so we've got some here across some pincers fightling, just to save a bit of time. Do I need to jump on one of these immediately? I might as well. Let's go and have a quick look first. Right, so what we need to do is jump on the Taurus, get up this ledge. So, kill the buffalo. Oh, sorry, make it faint. Okay, let's get on you. Yeah! Oh, it's kind of laggy on my game. 
Okay, jump up here. So you can see oh, this log already has been shifted. It was further south, which blocked the way. So we had to kill the Taurus to get the buffalo to run up and shift the log further north. So you have to do all that before we get into this area. The other thing to note, if you get lost or make a mistake, you can always jump on some of these flowers and it sets the game back again. Right, I think what we have to do now, yeah, is jump back off the Taurus. Yes, to get through this long grass. There we are, and I've already prepped this area, of course. So what we need to do is take on the pincer in this occasion. Like so. And then having done that, the hero cross will take away that nasty little spider web. Thank you very much. And he's gone. Alright, so in order to get down this ledge here, we're gonna to need to hop back on a Taurus. So we have to go all the way back. And this is why this puzzle is such a pain in the ass. So you have to get on a Taurus just to get up there to get rid of the cobweb. Right, one left for us. Don't take out the wrong one. Okay, that's that dude gone. And jump on the Taurus. And now, if the lag will allow, up the first ledge, up the second, pass the long grass, because obviously the Taurus cannot go through the long grass, so you have to go all the way around. Yes, we will have another repel, thank you so much. All right, and again, we have to jump off. So all that was just to get to this point. So we have to get off the Taurus by pressing A. Skirt through the long grass. Get back on the bike. Right, now we have a little cave. Which Gives us a couple more mining. I'll come back and mine those later. Oh, an ether. Nice. Ah, and a nice puzzle. I love ice puzzles. I'm so good at them. Not. Right, this thing here is the icy rock. So, it basically, if you want to get yourself a Glaceon, I'll quickly show you. If you bring your Eevee here, which we found in the Chrysolia Rail Cave, if you bring it to here and level it up one, so if it's covered in ice, touching it could make you freeze. If you level, bring a rare candy and your Eevee here, level it up one, you will get yourself a Glaceon. I might actually do that because try as I, I have mined all the rocks I can find, I can't find a water, another water stone, so I may actually have to get that Eevee to a Glaceon. Right then, how do we do this puzzle? Have I have a, da, da, da. I want to try and explore. Oh no, I think I've mucked it up. No, I think I got it. Right, let's have a little look up here then. I've never been up here. So we need surf to go down there, which we, oh, I thought I had a repel on. We already had one of them. It's already dead. Okay. Now then, ah, this is a little strength puzzle. Right, I'm gonna try this. I've heard that we might better get past this, so. 
Yes, we will use strength. Now, I've heard what you can do. I know we're not supposed to do this now because obviously you have to come from the right to shift the boulder across the left to access this area. But I think if we move it to there and we jump to here. Now I've heard if we save the game, I'm gonna try this. Save the game and then we restart the game. Right, well, th ah, there we go. You see, we've snuck past the boulder. There's a bit of a cheat. I hope we can get back out again. Or I'm screwed, because I saved the game as well. We might have to do this. Aha, oh -ho. You're actually a bit, a bit one on. And a life orb is ours. Well, there's a little bonus. Okay, that's so cool. Right, so we have to shift that down there. Oh, we can actually get back out. That's fine, that's, that's good. There we go, guys and gals, a little cheat there. Don't tell Amethyst. <laughs> oh, stuck on the ice, now do it. Right, I'll come back and mine those later. Well, that was a little bonus, that was well worth doing. Okay, moving on. The north side is nowhere near as difficult as the south. That's very complicated and time consuming, but we will endeavor to do so. Right, we need to get up the next channel. Right, do we need to go? Yes, we'll have to pop on a torus just to get up the next ledge. I mean, the mind that thought this up, unbelievable. It must have taken some effort, but it's also a pain in the ass to do. All right, next little... So, oh, nothing there. All right, okay. We've shifted that log. That was another log that we had to move from left to right previously. There's the next little uh, soiree upwards then. Seems quite far. I don't remember it being this far. Stop being laggy! Oh, move! <laughs> right, this is when we need to prep, so we'll slather some honey on. Yes, please. Right, what we need to do is go 200 steps. So we'll, uh, yay, right, there we go. So now we have to beat the pincer to let the hair across take away the spider web. Just think of it as good training for your Pokemon. Thank you very much. It's over there, it's up, up, go upwards. There it is. Bugs, I don't know, no brains. What is up here then? Let's have a little gander. Yes, I know, I don't care. All oh, right, have we just gone round in a circle? Um, let's jump off our Taurus and have a little look. He hurried away, he did. Ah, I must have prepped this one right. So this one looks like I need a doubler. Let's take the log away first. Flame burst should sort you out, Mr. Cross. Right, 
effect, Pincer will now smash the log to smithereens, eventually. Dink, right, that's cool. Right, put some more honey on there so we can get rid of the web. So in 200 steps, we will be able to do so. But first, we've got a TM, it is. Hail, hail, hail. Whoopie bloody do. Right, 200 steps to do. There we go, right. 200 steps later, the angry pincer attack. defense. Oh, uh, um, no, 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 I like Rock Blast. I like Rock Blast. It's good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Tore it down. And we get, we get for our troubles, a Leaf Stone. Fabulous. Okay, that's that bit. And I think the bit to the left is where we've just come from. Let me just check it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we've just been. Yeah, yeah, we've just been that way. All right, oh damn, I'm gonna have to hop on another one just to get up these steps, aren't I? Unless I can go around the bottom here. I cannot. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yep, pop on, hop on the Taurus. This away, Mr. Taurus. All right, so, 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 so. Oh, I thought I had a rappel on. Of course, I took it off, didn't I? Arse! Fifty-seven. Wow. You're a biggie. You're a big boy or girl. I can't remember what it was now. Bang. Right, so we've just been up that one. Oh no, I think we might have to jump off Mr. Taurus here. Oh, can we sneak around the bottom? We can, but it's of no avail, so we'll have to get off the Taurus to go two steps through the long grass. Sigh. Okay. Next up, what have we got up here? Ah, oh, right. Spiderweb that way. Interesting, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, it's another one I've obviously prepped.
Right, so if we want to go further north, we're going to have to find a way to get a Taurus up here. Can we do so from this way? Ah, ah, ooh, right. How the hell do I get down there? Oh, hang on a minute. What's going on here now? I can't get... How did I get here before? Hmm. Have I missed something? Get on the bike. Get on your bike. What's the upper higher? Right, so we can, right, okay, okay. Let's get down here. Let's shift the log. Again, this is one I prepared earlier, obviously. I've done a bit of work. I don't remember doing any of this, but there we go. It's been a little while. Obviously, you can come up here and just slap yourself and just hang around for 200 steps. But I'm trying to save a bit of time because it's very, very slow and time consuming. This probably said that before. Tear down that log! Bosh. Righty ho. Up there is going to be the pincer. So I will demonstrate what happens if you say you get stuck. The flower scents sent lulls die laughing into a daze so what you need to do is say no if you say yes you will then you'll stay there and you'll encounter a flabibi but say no it'll take you to the point on route one where you entered the forest like so but it also resets the taurus and um here of uh, taurus and buffalons so if you run out of those to reset them you go on a, on a flower if you muck up and you've run out of them. Either that, you have to go all the way back to the nature reserve in and out of there, which takes ages. Okay. Just one step to the left, please. Thank you. Aha, another item. Sharp beak. Don't cut yourself. And there we have a lovely little jolt deck. I can't remember what level it is now. I think it's quite low. I'm gonna switch the team. Morticia, I think you can do it. Ooh, what's my pickup found me? Pokey snacks, well done, stripes. I got about 400 of those. Thank you very much. Right then, now this has got to be after eight o'clock. Of course, if you come up here before eight o'clock, you just have three empty spider webs. So let's encounter our Joltek. In there at 35, not bad, not bad. You might just come in handy for the psychic gym. Ooh, it does a bit much. I'll better try and catch you straight away. Just like that. Yay, we got ourselves. Joltik. Attaching Pokemon. Sweet. Uh, we'll call you, I don't know, Tetro. Tetra what? Because you're electric and you've got four legs. How about that? All right, so that's how to catch those. Now, there's one thing I've missed because there was a spider web back, so um, I might skip a little bit out and see you back down there. Up here. Right.
Right, there we go. Right, we'll take away that spider web then. Now, there's a log just above me. I don't know what it's for. I wonder if there's something later that might open out. Oh, what are you doing out? Oh, bugger. Wrong Pokemon. Storm throw. Oh, nasty. Yeah, see that log just above me? I might come back and shift that and just to see if there's a hidden grotto or something up there because it doesn't seem to... must be there for a reason. Why, why is it there? But anyway... Do we then need to... Alright, so looks like, again, we're going to have to jump on yet another. Okay, let's go back and get ourselves another Taurus. There's one waiting for us. Oh, I've still got Morticia out front, haven't I? Ugh. You can do it, Morticia. Okay. Oh, no! Jesus Christ. <sighs> All the moves in all the world, you pick Megahorn. <sighs> oh no, not that way. Yes, please. And, and we get two lumberries. Very nice. Thank you very much. All right. Well, it's been a bit tedious and a bit lengthy, but um, and a great ball to boot. But I think we found some good stuff. We got the life orb. We got ourselves a Joltik. Uh, we've shown how to get the Glaceon, Lumberry, Icy Rock, thingy, goody, goody gumdrops. Um, so next time I'm going to go to the south side, which is twice as difficult. So I'm really not looking forward to that. Catch you guys later. Bye.